you're moving abroad on a work visa and you're required to have a car for the job this video is for you in my case as a skilled worker coming to the uk for a job that required me to drive i made a lot of mistakes i didn't have so much information on the right steps to take regarding cars basically all i knew in the past was to drive the cars but i didn't know too much about what to look out for in cars and neither did i have anybody to kind of ask or anybody close to the area to like you know follow me to check up things basically the information online offline was not enough okay so i'm making this video for anybody who's moving abroad in my case the uk if you're moving to the uk and you need to drive um you're basically on your own or you don't have family or friends in the city you're moving to new environment new terrain i hope this video helps you in some way i'm not a car mechanic but <laughs> i feel like i've seen enough for now to help somebody else uh, yeah i've experienced you know some difficulty and i wouldn't want anybody else to experience this set of difficulties so i'm putting this video up for you you may know somebody moving you possibly are the one moving so yeah one or two might help all right so in my case my company was going to help me purchase the car they don't provide cars they don't have cars um, for their staff so the difference is there are jobs that provide cars for their staff what that means is that the company pays tax the company will pay insurance all you need to do is drive the car and all you need to have is your international license driver's license right and then you can walk your way through getting the uk's provisional license getting your theory test done getting your driving test done you can do that within a year or on your own pace right but all that you need to do is to drive now in my case where my company is providing offering to help me purchase cars the first mistake i made which i will not want you to make is i didn't inform them i didn't tell them specifically that i drive an automatic car you know when i was asked you drive i'm like yes of course i do and because it's, you know they told me why they you know they want me to drive and all that why it's required and everything and that was fine but later on i realized that when they got the car it was a manual car <laughs> and i drive an automatic car and i'm like i've been driving automatic for a while so <sighs> that was like okay what do you do so before you proceed let your company know um what kind of transmission you drive the automatic or the manual and be sure that you can actually drive be very sure if you if you get a job and you know you're required to drive and you cannot drive or you just learned how to drive well if you learned how to drive that's a different ball game but if you cannot drive please don't even take it up also if you've been driving automatic stick to automatic if you've been driving manual stick to manual just be safe in some cases you're you may visit in my case my company bought from a garage so I went there with my employer to pick up the car but it might not be the same for everybody so if if you're able to go with somebody to visit somebody from your company to visit you know to pick up the car in a case where your company has offered to help you purchase the car that means they would have paid for it already so you just have to go there to pick it up right so before this even happens try and get the plate number of the car and do your check on the car there's so many sources online google it and just put the car plate number and you get so many you get you know the car's history and you'll be able to have a discussion on the day you're picking up the car if you're in a, if you're in a city you're going to be walking in a city where you have people there already um it would be nice if you just ask somebody that owns a car to follow you there if you're not too car savvy like me ask for help but if you're in a place where you're alone you don't know anybody fine go on your own but having checked the car's history prior to the day you're picking it up uh, gives you something to talk about right to ask questions ask thorough questions when you get there ask for the mot mot is mi means ministry of transport ministry of transport tests it's done on all cars in the uk to just show that the car is road safe is safe to be on the road it shows you the last time the car was checked you don't pick up a car where the mot was done um last year january or last year february that means it's going to expire because the mot test 
is every year so it's going to it lasts for a year so that means it's expiring this February and you need to do something about it so it's nice if you pick up a car that still gives you one year to figure out yourself I mean you're just moving you don't want to be worrying about your car anytime soon right so that's something to look out for ask for a the car's v5c logbook or v5c certificate this just shows that your car is registered with the um, driving i think the driving license agency um it's called dvla it shows that your car is registered with the dvla for the uk again i don't know about this organization for other countries but i can't speak for where i am right now so it shows that your, the v5c shows that your car is registered with the dvla and it also shows the um i think rep the registered cars keeper so in that case it will be in your name it should be in your name well if it's not ready on that day ask for it and then it'll be sent to you okay when you've gone through all these things and perhaps more based on your own research based on the questions you find out now in in a situation where a, a company has already paid for a car you know there's not too much you can really do uh you know but it i think a reasonable company would have gone through these checks but it's important for you to also ask don't really don't assume ask about every single thing because at the end of the day if you don't ask you end up paying you end up doing much more than you bargained for if you're not confident being on the road driving on the road this is where visiting the garage with someone else who is driving comes in because that person will drive your car and you know you all will go home safe before you take the car home i would advise that you tax your car and insure your car before you leave insuring your car means buying car insurance basically paying for car insurance for that car you can pay you can pay for a year or you can pay per month paying for a year is cheaper paying per month is a little bit more higher on the price and um but if you don't have the whole money to pay for a year that's why you you know you cannot pay per month if you have your provisional license already um i think it would be cheaper as well but if you don't you have your international license it's slightly higher because they feel like oh you're just you know you're starting out driving here for the first time but anyways just have enough money insure your car tax your car you might say oh you can't get away with not tax taxing your car and you you know but it's just safer because if your car is found out at any point in time and it hasn't been taxed it will be towed away they'll take it from you and you might end up spending lots more to get it back if you even get it back right so i wasn't so confident driving so i asked somebody my landlord at the time to help me pick up the car so he went with me to the garage and drove the car back and that was it i did not tax my vehicle i left it parked because i knew i was not going to move the car i mean it's a manual car after all i don't drive manual so i just left it parked in a public parking area and then one day i came home from work and i found out that ah, they've you know clamped my car <laughs> jokes i've clamped my car and what's going on i you know i had you know what you see in movies when they put this um little tickets and all and so i opened it up and i saw that oh your car has been on tax pay so 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 to have it on oh i think they had to call some number oh my god long and short of the matter is whether i was moving the car or not whether the car was going to be locked up whether you know even if i wasn't putting it on the road the fact that it was found to be untaxed i was going to you know i was i had to pay and i wasn't just going to pay for the car to now be taxed i was going to pay a fee for not having the car taxed so having put the car on the road just for the car being there just for the car being there right so yeah but anyways like i said this video is for it's just so that someone else doesn't fall into the same mistakes that i fell into get your car taxed get your car insured finally i just want to say if you're going to if you're going to take up a job abroad and you know this job is going to require you to drive and you know that your company is not providing the cars and you have to get the car on your own i would advise that you have money set aside for this 
okay i advise that you do a bit of research ask people there should be somebody there should be places there should be i think at least some some just ask what's the price range of cars just keep the money aside because you're moving to a new place you want to settle down there's a lot going on there's a lot going to go on and you need all the money you can get right so just advise that you have your own money and get your car on your own a company helping you out is great but at the same time they're definitely going to put up a payment plan which they'll be taking from you until depending on what your agreement is right and so with all the other things going on in your life going on your you know adjustment and stuff it might be a bit too much you might feel really drained at the end of every month you know having to balance work having to balance life and then having to balance the fact that you're not getting your full pay at the end of the month okay so and then you have the other bills that you take care of for example if you've not bought the house you pay rent you pay bills you pay for the car insurance you pay for tax yes there's so many things going on so it's just best it's ideal it would be best if you had keep your money aside get your car um and have peace of mind you know that when you're done paying for this car you're done so whatever happens whatever money you're getting is for you at the end of the month okay one more thing i'd like to add as a first timer please avoid um getting a car on facebook market if it is your very first time of getting a car and if you know absolutely nothing about cars facebook market is great you get good deals facebook market you get really good deals if it's for cars you get really amazing deals but you need to know what you're getting for those deals you need to know so if you're someone that doesn't know too much about cars or you don't even know anything at all do not go to facebook market do not buy a car for the first time without having knowledge about cars don't buy it from facebook market facebook market um basically means that these are private people you know anybody really just selling cars to you the best places to get your cars will be from a garage i hope that the video in some way has helped or will help you may know someone that is traveling you may know someone that is already you know in the process of it you yourself may be even you know trying to get one or two um and it was very difficult for me because i didn't know anybody in the city i was coming to and it's like you hit the ground running that kind of thing it wasn't like i came and then work was going to start one month after work started and i needed to drive okay so make ask all the questions you can ask don't make assumptions because when the bills come they will come you know when the bills come they will come so ask your questions very well find out everything you need to find you may not know everything about the car you learn about your car later on as time goes but you get better so i hope that somehow i hope that this video you know throws light on certain areas that you may not have thought about and yeah you're able to make good choices as regard cars and as regard moving and all that